Hi guys, welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional video. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through today's example problem. Today we're working on example 5.1, determining the number of moles present in a sample. How many moles does 2.450 grams of carbon contain? All right, well, we need to know moles. Let's just write that down. We need to know moles. We don't know moles. We do know grams. Well, what I like to do, I like to just use units. I don't even worry about numbers. I just worry about units. So I'm starting with grams of carbon. I'm going to multiply that by some unit to give me the new unit I want, moles. Now, if you are one of my students in lecture or you've been following along with this video series, you've seen me do this over and over again. The unit that's here repeats down here so that they will cancel. And the unit that goes up here is the unit that we need over here. Moles. So if we do this calculation, multiply grams by moles and divide by grams, we'll get the unit moles. Now the question always is what numbers go here and what numbers go here and up here? Those are always the questions people want to know. Well, I always say, let the units tell you what to do. Don't worry about anything else but units. They will always guide you in the right direction. First things first. The number that goes out here is the number we start with. 2.450, which comes, of course, from the question. That's what we're starting with. The number that goes up here is molar mass, or atomic mass, I guess, because we're dealing with an element. Atomic mass. So we need to know the atomic mass of carbon, because that's the element we're dealing with. We're dealing with the element carbon. So let's move over to a periodic table. Here we have one. And there is the element carbon, number 6, group 14, period 2. So the Atomic mass of carbon is 12.01. Let's remember that. Let's write that down here. So now, atomic mass of carbon is 12.01 grams over mole. That's the same thing as saying one mole of carbon equals 12.01 grams. These are atomic mass. Uh, conversion factor up here, and this is an equality down here. Now, the number is married to the unit. So for right here, the one I'm circling, one mole, the number one has to go up here. Let me just fix my mole here a little bit. There we go. Goes up there. And if you look back at your equality, the 12.01 grams must go here. One grams goes there. So now, according to the units, I have to multiply 2.450 by the number 1 and divide that by 12. So let's try that. 2.450 multiplied by 1 divide by 12 equals. Now the calculator of course is going to give you a long string of numbers. 2041667 and so on. Now we have to know how to round this. So let's take our measurements here we have four significant figures. Here we have four significant figures. And the one is an exact number, so we don't worry about rounding with that. So we have to have four significant figures in our final answer, and that has way more than four. So the final, final answer, round it correctly, will be 0 0.2042, because that one becomes a two, two to the six mole. And I like to put squares or, or a rectangle. I can do a little better than that. Let me try that again. I like to put squares around my final answers to make it uh, clear to the greater what my uh, answer is. All right. And that is how you convert uh, grams to moles using atomic mass that's found on the periodic table. Uh, make sure you can do questions like this. They are pretty fundamental. Um, they're never going to go away. We're going to use them the entire time we're in this class. So uh, make sure you've got it. If not, come and ask me during office hours or head over to the Academic Success Center. Ask a tutor over there for help. 
don't let this slide by. And with that, I'd like to wish you good luck and good chemistry.